Hey guys, and welcome back to Hard Edge. When we last left off, we got to a new area and we were exploring. We also found ourselves a nice fancy valve handle. I had to think about it there for a second. So let's continue. Apparently we've got to go to, ooh, hello. Eh, it kind of looks like something we can play with. Uh, we also have to go to an incinerator to find another key, apparently. Ooh. What is this place? Information office. Storeroom B. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's not overlook the uh, elephant in the room. Information retrieval system operates. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Machine Gear Inc. Data Library. That's very hard to read. Wow, the Garden System satellite sure is powerful. I can see why they want to get control of it. Mm. You can aim at any place you want and destroy it. Control this. Or, you know, you could just you know, shoot the satellite down, but hey, what do I know about stuff? Uh, anything else in here? It says on the monitor, emergency code issued, operation terminated. I guess I can't use it. Hmm, okay. Uh, is there really nothing else in here? Ooh, what does this do? Is the room just light? Uh, uh, light switch? Yes. Way too dark to see a thing. I'll have to turn the lights back on. Oh! I heard about this. Alex actually has night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we've got night vision now. There's a network computer downloading. Download complete. So what... Oh, hello. Uh, in this new form, as an electronic organism, organism... Organism? I have infiltrated the data room above ground. According to the information I have accessed there, there was once a research project conducted within Machinery Gear Inc that attempted to create an artificial brain uh, with which a human brain could be replicated. If this project has been completed, I can transplant my own characteristics and memories into this artificial brain and be reborn. Hmm. And become a perfect being, complete in all ways. But I know only of this project's existence. All other information was completely erased. Who on earth would have been working on this? There's no way to find out more on my own powers alone. Rats! What are Miguel and his men doing here? They still haven't been able to locate any traces of the artificial brain, even after the trouble I went to in order to give them false identities as machinery gear employees. Perhaps they're nothing more than a Strangling bunch of mercenaries after all. I thought they were a bit sharper than that. Looks as though I was mistaken. McGow and his goons are back up to something. Are up to something behind my back. Their meeting place is near the skylight on the building's penthouse floor. Out of reach of my eyes. 
Must think of some way. What, what on earth? Something something alien is, is no, no. Is it a virus? Laughter. I know that voice. Miguel, the pain is... It, it, oh. Okay, so I guess he's dead. Inspection notice. Because of a malfunction in the ventilation of the... Tw of the 27th floor, the wall ducts will be inspected. Found unknown data entries. Picked up an internal report. Okay, so what has turning the lights off in here actually done? Uh, oh, this computer is glowing red. Is that a thing? Access terminal number six, I guess. There was a room um, on one of the other floors that we needed uh, our goggles to access. I remember now, because it was too dark to see inside. I guess it wasn't important. Oh, hello. I guess it wasn't that important. So, where are we now? Oh, nice. It's only a small life up, mind. Ah, right. Okay. I mean, that's useful, I suppose. Another disengagement device. Found disengagement device, too. So that just leaves the one in the incinerator. Which, I'm not 100% sure how we even get in there. Where technically is this on the map? Uh, ah! How interesting. Kinda tempted to go look for that other area. There are a couple of reports. Ooh. Accident report dated May 7th. An explosion of accidental nature took place on May 3rd in development research unit number three. Basement level casualties. Fatalities for researchers. Seriously wounded. Professor Volt. Property damage. Underground development research unit number three was completely gutted. Cause of accident unknown. Uh, notes. Fire was brought under control six hours after the onset of the accident. Professor Volt has suffered limb and other losses corresponding to 37% of his body and sustained burns and injuries to 68%. Uh, his condition is extremely serious. His psychological... Oh. His uh, physiological functions are currently being maintained in a special life support system. But the immediate danger still cannot be underestimated. There are no signs of his... Of his... Him regaining consciousness? Found an accident survey report. Ah, pile of cardboard boxes. That's no good. So I'm guessing Dr. Volt. Was that the electronic entity that... We have... Uh, been reading about? Hmm. Perhaps. Where was that room? The one that was really dark and we couldn't enter. Research Lab B. Uh, it's on the 25th floor, maybe? Storeroom A. Data library, storage cupboard B. 
I'm going to look it up for a minute, guys, because there's probably some cool stuff there. Okay, so I did a bit of looking around, and yeah, the only thing I can assume is that darkened area, that darkened room, is no longer dark. <laughs> because I did some running around, I tried to look it up, I couldn't find any information on it. So, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the lounge. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think... Do we need to go... Ah, fuck. I really need to stop using health. Do we need to go down? Because one of the logs said something about... Dust shoot. I did look it up quickly. And it's in storeroom A. Which is on floor 25. Okay. Okay, right. Let's try and find a way down, I suppose. Uh, we don't want to go down there, do we? Um, bloody hell. This map is so confusing. Every time I kind of think I've got a handle on it, I get lost. Which is basically very me, to say the least. Right, this is where we need to be going. I got there. Uh, there's a save room there, but I don't really care about the save room. We have save states. I guess if we're walking past the safe spot, we can drop a save state. Okay, so we need to go down. At least we've got the um, elevator working again. It's definitely going to save us a little bit of issues. At least speed things up for us anyway. Moving my other keyboard out of the way a minute. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So, I just think we're going to want to go through there. Yeah, and just follow it straight around. Got ya. So, if there is a dark room hidden somewhere, then I don't know where it is, Chief. Wait a minute. Was it around here? What was in that room? Office D. What's Office D all about? Well, no, we went in there pretty early on, if I remember correctly. Uh, we, don't, we need to go to the infirmary. We want to go straight ahead. Right. No enemies in here, that's good. There's a number of containers piled up high. Good. Good. Ah, remember this? Use the power handle. Yes. I remember this. Now. All aboard, I guess. It's very cram... Oh, no. We're going to have to be... Rachel. To yet again push herself in. She likes pushing herself into places, doesn't she? Okay. Right. Go on then, Rachel. Push yourself in. Ooh. <laughs> Bit of music. It's a very twisty, turny dust shoot. You would have thought it would go straight down. That would be the most efficient route. Ooh, God. Um. That was close. That's a pretty serious bit of kit. Okay, what the hell have we got to work with here? Press the button. Uh, maybe? Oh. Have we got to push the button fast? Is that what this is about? There we go. Ooh! Well, we did the thing. Did we do the right thing? 
here. Oh, okay. I was expecting some kind of puzzle down here. Uh, although I'm certainly not complaining, that's for sure. Now, unfortunately, where are we? That's the next... Ah, okay. I do like how fast um, Rachel is. She really can move, which is nice. Caution. Experimental... F experimental food? Okay. Yeah. Not eat the experimental food then. Probably full of all sorts of stuff. There are incubators. They must have been researching bioweapons. See, there's something floating around in it now. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I don't think that's been rendered properly, but. Ooh. And it looks like something's broken out. Because, of course, it has. Capsule's broken. Something's written on the nameplate. Master Type 001. Brenham. Uh, yeah, that that's questionable, to say the least. Okay. I don't know if there's any... Ooh. Is that the robot thing? We're going to put a save state down. Is that the elect... Oh, God, okay. Okay, that's that's just a standard enemy, I think. Ow! It's a standard enemy that really kicks my ass. Although... Oh, that's a boss, apparently. Ow! Dude. Is that really a boss? I mean... He called itself a boss. Oof. So, I guess it's a boss. Alright. Oh, God. There's explosive mines everywhere. Which is questionable. Okay. Alright, well, we're not going to play with any of that stuff. Let's keep going. Ooh. There's a lever. Toggle it. Uh, yeah. Ooh. What's that? <sighs> Did we do a right thing? Uh. Okay. Did we go the right way? Ah, oh, right. Right, okay. Well, let's have a look around. Ooh, oh, there's a save station here. So, I guess. Ah, oh, you bastard. I guess if there's a save station here. Can we access this, please? Thank you. We can go try the other the other ways. Cool. Just in case there's, like, stuff back there. So I'm guessing that's going to lead to a boss. I've got very much a boss sense. And also, the idea of fighting a boss as Rachel is pretty horrifying. Not going to lie. Yes, toggle the lever. Why is why is like every animation in this game so pitifully slow? Ooh, this does look like a ooh. It must be locked. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess that was just a waste of your time and mine. All right. Total waste of time. Thanks for wasting my time, game. It's very kind of you. Uh, we really don't have a lot of health. I'm ho I don't know. Maybe it's not a boss. 
maybe we're just gonna go find an elevator and get back up to everybody else but I don't know guys <laughs> this feels very ominous to say the least yeah this looks gribbly I'm calling it now this is gribbly Um, Shinra Corporation? Oh, we're all here, apparently. Good. Welcome, my friend. Uh, I've been waiting for you. Who are you? <laughs> okay. Yo. Sure. He's a monkey. Indeed, that is my name. I called you here to ask if you could help me. Hmm. Okay. Maybe help not. You? You've got to be joking. You're the one who orchestrated this whole sick plot. Actually, I made it. He's trapped me in here using a virus he created. Right, so that's what happened. Will you help me? Why on earth should we help you? If you get me out of this room, I'll help you catch him again. Not a bad deal, eh? Hmm. Okay, so, yep, yeah, boss time. So this guy orchestrated everything. And then Miguel uh, betrayed him, which we've already read that in the documents anyway. Oh, dear. Um... Well, that's awkward. Okay, that's actually quite cool, but we have to fight as Rachel, which is not cool. Oh god. What the hell? This is like some Smash Brothers shit right here. Whoa! Right here. Um. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh god. Well, this doesn't seem awfully complex. Can we back off? No. Very difficult to actually dodge that. Ow, that hurt. Oh, we won. Oh, maybe not. I guess he has a second form. He's doing something. I don't like what he's doing. Uh, can we hit him? Oh, we can. Oh, God, okay. Right, I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. So I guess we just leather into him and then back off, apparently. But 
Uh, question mark? Right. Hit him twice, and then back the fuck off. I think. Yeah, it takes so long. It takes way, way too long. Ah, oh, bollocks, and we're here. Right, so I know we're going to have to go fight him. It takes a very, very long time. So it looks like you can only hit him maybe once and then try to back off. The trouble is, uh, what I'm finding is the input delay in this game is extreme. So you can't just attack him and then quickly run away <laughs> because, you know, you double tap back to dodge backwards and that takes about three or four seconds to actually, you know, register and do anything. Um, hmm. Kind of wish I'd put some more health points into uh, Rachel now. Right, I'll get us back up to the boss, guys. I'll see you in a second. Right, we're back. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Potentially a little bit less fail this time. Okay, so we can avoid that. The trouble is... I can't tell where I actually am on the map. Alright, come on. There we go. Oh, almost. Kind of, but not really. Dodge. Can't. <laughs> Dodge. What are you talking about? Who dodges in this game? Alright, okay. So, second form. I think... No, I was going to say, I think I avoided his attack. But, of course, I did not. Oh, hang on. He's got, like, no health. Oh, right, he's healing himself. I see. Okay. That was way easier the second time. Kind of wish I didn't waste all that health on him, but... <sighs> I didn't realise he was healing himself. Rachel, are you alright? Yes, but I'm not done yet. If I don't destroy what's left of his physical body, too, he'll self-regenerate. Now... With your protective casing, schmuck! Mm. I got it! Ooh. So that's Vault's true form. <laughs> well, that'll do it. like the way he's built himself this fancy machine to reside in. Hmm. Right, and here we are. Free at last, kind of. I guess, actually, we can go save it now. Maybe. It must be locked. Uh, that boss, actually, that was really cool. The whole uh, concept of that bit was really freaking cool. Going into cyberspace and fighting it and the fact that he's just like a brain in a jar. Yeah, I like that. That was actually a really cool part of the game. Me a fan. There's a little bit different. Quite easy to take out too. Uh, is this still locked? It is not still locked. It Ah, it's too dark to carry on. I think I'm better off going back for now. Why can't we just, like, auto-switch to Alex? He's literally in our party. Let's try that again. Be, it's not like all the other characters are waiting outside. They're all here with us, so it's kind of a bit weird. This is where night vision goggles come in useful. Use night vision. Excellent. Ooh. Whoa. What is that? That's... That's something very different. Apparently. That is a super mutant. Uh, let's try changing the bullets. Okay. Can't actually... Ah. 
two bullets. Two of the good bullets to kill them. And some health. Happy with that. Uh, anyway, guys. I'm going to leave it here because we are out of time. Let's just explore this room a little bit better. There's, there's a treasure chest. Ah, uh, okay. I was not expecting there to be treasure chests in this game, but uh, there we go. There's a control panel for the large machine tools. Not for, not for the amateurs. Not for the amateurs. I see. Okay. Well, I guess. We don't want the amateurs getting involved here. Uh, one second. I appear to have deleted <laughs> all my timestamps for where I need to edit on this video. Well, that's that's just wonderful. Um, right, let's get out of here. Maybe. It's the power source for the machines. Well, maybe let's turn that off, shall we? Are there any goodies around? Oh, yes, there is. Some kind of control panel, but it's broken and useless. Ah. I felt that. Right, so where are we now? Oh, enemies. Apparently. Something's making noise. Ooh. Okay, well that's something a little bit different. Luckily these high explosive rounds seem to do the trick. And I like the fact that these things still give us uh, uh, items. Uh, I guess we'll give her some health. Just in case we need it. And she's quick. The power handle might come in handy here. Well, we don't have it, do we? I guess not. Hey, and we've reached the save room. Nice. Oh, cool. Right, let's plonk down a save. I'm wondering if we have to go all the way back and get the power handle. I'm guessing yes. Uh, let's drop a save there. And we're going to call it a video. Yeah, not bad. I like that bit. That was cool. With um, Professor Vault trapped in his little brain machine. That was really fun. I like it. Yeah, so far there's only been one boss that I thought was a bit shit. And by calling her a bit shit, I mean literally one of the worst bosses I've ever fought uh, in a video game that I can remember. But apart from that little blip, that little shit stain if you will, this has been really good. I'm kind of getting the feeling we're, we're edging towards the end of the game now. But um, I guess we'll see. Anyway, till next time guys. Thanks for watching.